afternoon. You must be pleased. I looked a little bit of a sticky wicket at some point. Pleased with the win, obviously. Um, Scored three goals to get three points to try and improve our home form, really. So I feel that was the biggest thing today. Um, yeah, first half, frustrated, obviously. Great goal from them, from their point of view, to, to go one up. Um, we just looked sloppy. Um, words were said again at half time. I thought we responded really well second half. And they were really happy with it and um, deserved the win. Well, you say a good response coming out of the uh, half time break. Of course, yeah. within a minute, you've taken the game 2 1. You have got a great penalty, another great penalty for Greg Mills. He must practice these in training sessions. He practices them in games, mate, he gets that many. Um, no, we, we said to Mills at half time, you know. We moved him from the left up front. Um, can you can you pin your centre off? Can you roll it? That's what he's done. Ball into his feet. He's rolled the lad, and Mills has got that. He's got quick feet. Um, defenders think they've got a chance of getting there. He just nicks it away. He's, he's clever. Wilson's the same. But good feet, um, and they do suck defenders in to, to making that tackle. Um, Mills he wins pens and he scores pens. That's that's Greg Mills. Um, he, he was good today. Uh, second half. <laughs> the second half. Of course, the uh, third goal. Speculative, possibly. They made a mess of it in their defence, of course, so it's clearing the ball. But Ben Mills has struck a shot. It could have been cleared off the line. What was the defender doing? But a great attempt, and we're looking forward to seeing that on the video. It brought back memories of Colwyn Bay um, last year, Nathan Rooney. Um, again, Milner, a very technical player. I think it was the one player, probably him, Shane Byrne, that you'd want it to fall to. Um, it did. Great, great technical ability from. From Milno, he's centre half on the line. I think he probably thought he got enough on it, he's actually stuck it in the net, but Milno deserved that. Um, very hard skill to do, and he made it look easy. Dave, we'll come to you. You've got the words number one coach on your boots. The first goal, however, well struck, but it did look like that uh, Paul Walker had a problem getting to it, maybe. If he'd been on his line, he might have actually tipped it wide. Uh, well, it was a good strike, wasn't it? He's had, he's had a bit of time in his turn than. Uh, Hits it nice and cleanly. Um, maybe walks could be a, be a yard higher, close the angle down a bit, and a bit more spring in his legs to so get, get a bit faster across his line and uh, get across there, mate. That's safe. But um, uh, you, you, you can't fault him. He's made some great saves today. The um, biggest one for me was um, was early in the first half where he's uh, spread himself well for the the one on one. It's something that we work on quite a lot, talk about, and he's done another great job and. Keepers Union and all that have been his three points today. I think you know, certainly the talk in the press box uh, during the game was there, was there was two players on the mark this afternoon for the man of the match. One was Paul Malone, another one was certainly Paul Walker again. Yeah, sure, but they, they complement each other well. Um, Molly needs to, I've already spoke to him, he needs to learn to do the simple things really well, and that is going to make him a better player. Um, Walker is going from strength to strength, I've spoken about it a million times. And he's uh, doing, doing exceptionally well and hope it continues. Boss, you're saying you want to see more goals here at Steel Park. Make sure that the fans get what they deserve. They're paying the money. They want to see goals. Do you feel as if you should be on the pitch a bit more? I need to be at the minute and I'm happy with that situation. Um, I've gone on now in two games and I've, 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 we keep challenging the boys. At the same time, I do want to manage them and I'm proud of managing them. So, if I'm on the touch line, it means that they're doing something right on the pitch, and I think that's the way it is at the minute. Rob Morgan's come in, um, attacking presence, spent some weird day on the bench today. You know, to have a goal scorer and career that he's had, and he's sitting on the bench for us, I think that speaks volumes for what the boys are doing on the pitch. Great um, strength and depth, and obviously we're utilising that at the minute. You talk a lot about your, uh, your, your monthly targets that you set the boys on par. You've hit it, I guess, for this month. Next week, away at Holden Rovers. It's three points, hopefully, and that, that sets you up perfectly. Three points important, that uh, beats the target for this month, um, then they'll get the next month one. It's as simple as that. Um, chipping away at targets in a minute, obviously, results um, come better than I expected. I thought Wayne and the fan pulled for today, and one of them has come, so we've got to do our bit. So I keep, I keep challenging the lads, we do our bit, look after ourselves, we won't be there. there. We'll far away from it. To put the meat on the bones, yes, Weymouth beaten 1 0, Pool uh, Town win 4 0, but uh, it does look like it's very, very tight at the top of the league. Pool at the top, and then three teams on 57 points, three points behind Pool the leaders. 
it is going to be tight. It's going to run right to the end of the season, isn't it? It will. Really, uh, obviously, the um, we find out on Thursday. Obviously, the decision from the Southern League whether or not we will be awarded these three points. So, in our heads, it's a little bit false. We look at 57. Really, we should be on 60. So, hopefully, that we'll get the decision that we want, um, and we'll take that into the weekend, and we will be top of the league. Any injury worries this afternoon? It didn't look like anybody came off due to uh, you know strains and sprains. Um, Ellie Appleton, to be honest with you, um, got a knock on his keys in the first half. He's a little bit of a concern. Obviously, we've got suspension coming up for two games, so he'll get his rest. Uh, ben Mills, Elliot Chamberlain, they just they've tied. Um, as simple as that, they put in such a shift. I kind of expect them, to be honest with you, to, to start pulling up 70, 80 minutes, and obviously that was the case today. But unlike last week, you've now got a free week, uh, nothing but training until uh, the game in Bristol next weekend. Exactly, you know, it gives us a, a chance to get them in the week, um, put wrong a, a few little things that, that we see them creeping in, and, and I'll try to tie that up ready for Saturday. Excellent. Well done today, congratulations. Thanks,